From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, let's take a picture of this weather. Let's bottle it up and put it in a jar because it doesn't get much better than the next couple of days here in northern Ohio weather-wise. We've got overnight temps bottoming out, 60s, some upper 50s thrown in should be pleasant. Tomorrow we're going to warm you into the middle 80s, head to the beach or the pool, and abundant sunshine, just a couple of clouds through the day. Let's do 85, a fantastic Friday. Same for the Akron Canton area, 85 degrees, lots of sun and warm. How about that seven-day forecast? Glad you asked. Saturday and Sunday should be dry. We're turning up the heat and the humidity with highs in the upper 80s to near 90. Rob? The brand new director of the Cuyahoga County Juvenile Justice Center went to lunch on his very first day on the job and never went back. A memo to employees says Donald Frank Shewalter started work Monday and resigned approximately five hours after he started. Shewalter reportedly realized his heart just wasn't in it. This is the second time since April the county's Juvenile Justice Center has been without a superintendent. The last director was fired after just eight months on the job. U.S. Marshals captured accused pipe bomber Brian Capey in this afternoon. Investigators say Capey had made his own pipe bombs, threatened to kill his ex and another man, then went looking for them in a neighborhood in Springfield Township this weekend. When his target spotted him, investigators say Capey did set off a pipe bomb, then he went on the run. Until today, when Marshals found him hiding under a bed in Springfield Township and took him in. And five rides at the Ohio State Fair have been shut down for safety reasons. Inspectors found corrosion on one of them, and because of that, the ride will not run at all during the fair. The other four rides are still being inspected and are expected to reopen. There's been a renewed focus on ride inspection after the fireball ride fell apart at the Ohio State Fair two years ago, killing one person and injuring several others. For the latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or open the News5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.